ओके रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट स्टूडेंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ जियोग्राफी ओके एंड एज आई हैव बीन नोटिंग दिस थिंग राइट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग राइट फ्रॉम द टाइम व्हेन आई रिकॉर्डेड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सिविक्स आई हैव टोल्ड दिस थिंग वेरी वेल दैट आर टॉपिक आर सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज ओके ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज विल बी वन सिंगल पेपर एक ही पेपर आने वाला है आपको जिसका टोटल है एटी मार्क्स का जिसमें तीन नहीं लेकिन चार सेक्शंस में पेपर डिवाइडेड है सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी सेक्शन सी एंड सेक्शन डी बेटा सेक्शन ए जो है दिस कंप्राइज ऑफ ऑल द एम सी क्यूज विच विल बी देयर फॉर वन मार्क ईच और जिसके टोटल है टेन सेक्शन बी जो है वो है सब वन लाइन आंसर्स अगेन फॉर वन मार्क ईच जिसका टोटल है अगेन टेन मार्क्स सेक्शन डी विल बी सेक्शन डी विल बी थ्री मार्क्स आंसर्स ओके यू हैव टू राइट टेन क्वेश्चन टोटल ओके एंड वैसे इसकी टोटल है थर्टी मार्क्स तो थर्टी प्लस एंड फोर्टी प्लस एंड फिफ्टी एंड इवन दिस इज फॉर फाइव मार्क्स ओके टेन सिक्स क्वेश्चन टोटल विल बी फॉर थर्टी मार्क्स सो दिस इज हाउ आर पोर्शन है दिस पोर्शन ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज हैव बिन डिवाइडेड नाउ यू विल गेट अ क्वेश्चन की सर सेक्शन ए में हिस्ट्री है सेक्शन बी जोग्राफी देन सिविक्स एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस नो any question can come criss cross any question can come in any horizontal criss cross vertical manner but our job is to know that subjects like geography and history form a better part of section a and section b okay again i am repeating subject like geography and history section a or section b may importance rakhte hai because yahan pe objective based questions on geography and history are पॉसिबिलिटी आर मोर आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू हंड्रेड परसेंट यही आने वाले सेक्शन सी और बी में देर विल मोर पॉलिटिकल साइंस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स नहीं बट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू अ माइन्यूटेस्ट नहीं बट अ ब्रीफ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट सेक्शन ए एंड बी हैव मोर जोग्राफी एंड हिस्ट्री ओरियंटेड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इसमें आते हैं एमसीक्यूज एंड वन लाइनर्स ओके गडिंग बैक टू दिस नाउ टॉपिक का नाम क्या है रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट What is the meaning of resource? Okay, in simple terms, my dear friends, what is the meaning of resource? Land is a resource. Air, you can take environment is a resource. Simple. After that, after that, forests are resources. Water is a resource. Everything is a resource. Everything is a resource. ऐसा किधर भी नहीं है कि एक रिसोर्स है एक रिसोर्स नहीं है. How you utilize these resources to convert it into the possible assets? इसका हम फायदा कैसे कर सकते हैं वो भी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट से इसका इसका एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग है रिसोर्सेस ओके एवरीबडी एंड रिजूजिंग रिसोर्सेस फॉर द बेटर पर्पज गिव राइस टू डेवलपमेंट सो रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट बोथ आर इंटरली एंड बोथ गो हैंड इन हैंड इज कॉल्ड एज रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट ओके एवरीथिंग अवेलेबल इन एनवायरमेंट व्हिच कैन बी यूज टू सेटिस्फाई आर नीड्स प्रोवाइडेड इज टेक्निकल टेक्नोलॉजिकली एक्सेसिबल इकोनॉमिकली फिजिबल एंड कल्चरली एक्सेप्टेड एक्सेप्टेबल कैन बी टर्म्ड एज रिसोर्सेस ओके एवरीथिंग अवेलेबल इन एन एनवायरमेंट कैन बी यूज्ड इकोनॉमिकली फिजिबल एंड कल्चरली एक्सेप्टेबल कैन बी टर्म्ड एज रिसोर्सेस ओके सो अकॉर्डिंगली ऑन दिस कंसेप्ट अकॉर्डिंगली ऑन दिस कंसेप्ट वी नो द एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग ऑफ रिसोर्सेस ओके yes now coming back to this backdrop the process of transformation the process of transformation of things available in environment involves an interdependent relationship interdependent relationship between nature technology and institutions human beings interact with nature through technology and create institutions to accelerate their economic development do you think that resources are free gifts Do you think that resources are free gifts? Absolutely. Okay. Of nature, as is assured by many, they are not. Resources are a function of human activities. Human beings themselves are essential components of resources. They are. They transform material available in the environment into resources and use them. ये important line है बेटा. They transform material available in environment into resources and use them. Simple. हम क्या करते हैं? जो भी land है. उसको हम लोग यूटिलाइज करते हैं एग्रीकल्चर पर्पज के लिए सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लैंड इज यूज फॉर विट पर्पजेस लैंड इज यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चरल पर्पजेस इट इज यूज ऑल्सो फॉर द पर्पजेस ऑफ फार्मिंग 
इट कैन बी यूज फॉर कमर्शियल पर्पजेस ऑल्सो कमर्शियल पर्पजेस में भी हम लैंड यूटिलाइज करते हैं एंड एंड ऑफ द डे दिस लैंड इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल एंड यूज फॉर अदर अदर कमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज तो रिसोर्स एक ही है क्या उसका यूटिलाइज बहुत हो रहा है येस सिमिलरली इज अबाउट फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट इज वॉट फॉरेस्ट इज अ रिसोर्स कैन इज दैट फॉरेस्ट यूज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वुड येस for the part of natural environmental options yes are that used as a part of commercial activities also yes kya forest mein hum log kuch other options like sericulture horticulture karte hain definitely so one resource gives options to wider spectrums this is called as resources and development clear everybody these resources can be classified in the following ways on the basis of origin on the basis of origin biotic and abiotic on the basis of exhaustibility on the basis of ownership individual on the basis of status development potential developed stock and reserves okay okay on the basis of origin kya hai isme biotic and abiotic resources on the basis of exhaustibility matlab khatam hone wale hai whether resource will be getting whether resource will get depleted or no renewable and non renewable resources which can be continuous jo available continuously sunlight wind water एंड रिसोर्स विच आर नॉन रिन्यूएबल लाइक लाइक उसमें भी दो कैटेगरीज है ठीक है यहाँ पे दिए क्लियरली रिसाइकलेबल एग्जाम्पल मेटल्स नॉन रिसाइकल एग्जाम्पल फॉसिल फ्यूल्स पेट्रोल केमिकल्स ओके सो बायोलॉजिकल रिसोर्स रिन्यूएबल में दो है कंटिन्यूस दैट इज विच कैन बी अवेलेबल इन प्लेंटी एंड अदर इज बायोलॉजिकल नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ क्या ये अवेलेबल इन प्लेंटी है एग्रीड दे आर अवेलेबल इन प्लेंटी बट कैन दैट बी डिग्रेडेड बाई मैन येस फॉरेस्ट कट 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 कर दिया वी कीप ऑन डिफॉरेस्टिंग एवरीथिंग वी कीप ऑन डिफॉरेस्टेशन एवरीथिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ अ फॉरेस्टेशन इज द फॉरेस्ट गोन टू लूज इज द फॉरेस्ट गोन टू लूज इट्स एब्सोल्यूट एग्जिस्टेंस येस इज वाइल्ड लाइफ इफ किल्ड ऑफकोर्स जाहिर सी बात है इतने एनिमल से मनी ऑफ दर एक्सटिंगशन बट स्टिल दिस कैन है ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ओनरशिप इंडिविजुअल कम्युनिटी नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल on the basis of status and development potential developed stock and reserve so this is the basis on which your resources are being categorized origin biotic and abiotic we have given very simple dusra hai renewable resources and next one is non renewable definitions important hai one liners ke liye aate hain the resources which can be renewed or reproduced by physical chemical or mechanical processes are known as renewable or replenishable resources so point number 1 from this is or mcq number 1 one line also please pay attention while revising this while we are taking the chapter i'll be going for everything one liner in detail everything so once you watch the video you'll be very simply understanding with what exactly is to be mentioned you don't have to criss cross and check unnecessary now number 1 number second non renewable kya hai these resources or these occur over a very long geological period these occur over a very long geological period minerals and fossil fuels are examples of such resources these resources take millions of years in their formation okay and unfortunately they will not take less time they will not take more time to get depleted so we need to use them carefully okay yes on the basis of ownership individual resources number 1 and number 2 community owned resources these are owned by privately by individuals farmers uh, uh, property owners these are the individuals and by the by Sorry, third one and fourth one community owned resources matlab villages tarukas townships roads are community owned resources which are owned by more than one person are called as community owned simple iska dusra bhi matlab hai this is also called as public and this is also called as private dono mein difference hai private owned by a single individual and public owned by a group of persons on the basis of status of development uh, before that we'll be going for national resources and international resources. Okay, what is the meaning of national resources which belong to our nation, which are within the national sphere? मतलब हमारे देश की जितनी boundary है, the resources which lie within those boundaries are called as national resources, and the resources which are over and above those boundaries, which cross over the boundaries and which take about other continents, existence of other countries as well, those are called as international resources. Oceans of the world are international resources. Seas of India are Indian. That is national resources. Did you get the basic difference over there? Wildlife within India are national resource. 
but wildlife all over the world are international fish. No country can claim it is ours or it is mine or it is yours. It is all for the niche, for the world and world is one better place to live in. Okay? Next ones that we got to know is resources which are based on status of development. Number two, usme hai potential resource, developed resource and stock. Okay, before going with this, this is number fifth and number sixth. Okay. On the basis of status of development, resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized, for example, which have not been utilized, okay, are called as are called as potential resources. Matlab, jo resources mein potential hai, but those are not explored. Okay, and developed resources, resources which are surveyed and their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization are called as developed resources. Let's say Rajasthan may there is a place which is purely into manufacturing of granite. Okay, and limestone is resources which are developed resources because this just area hai, it was purely built uh, matlab, naturally blessed with granite and marbles. They have developed and they have built good industries on that. This is called as developed resource. Stock ka matlab kya materials in the environment which have the potential to justify human needs, but human beings do not have the appropriate technology to access them are called as stock, including for example, water is a compound of two inflammable gases, hydrogen and oxygen which can be used as rich source of energy but we do not have the required technical know-how to use them for this purpose okay simple stock ka matlab hai jo resources available hai usme bahut potential bhi hai but unfortunately we as humans don't know how to utilize the potential of profit jaise india is blessed with extremely good sunlight we are a tropical country but we are not having that potential or finances to use that for for let's say simple solar we are not using it in an appropriate level this is called as a stock so sun becomes a stock it is a good resource but uska utilize nahi ho hai. that's why it is defined as a stock utilize community capacity usme hai. but we are not having the appropriate technical knowledge to utilize it clear everybody so this was what about is called as a uh, stock next is reserves are the subset of a stock which can be put into use with the help of existing technical know-how simple jo mal go down mein hai, that's a stock and the product which is used actually in the shop for the utilization is called as reserves. Simple everybody. Yes. Now in the next part we'll be seeing for development of resources. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Students, the next part about this is reserves. Reserves are the subset of stock. Okay. We have given reserves are the subset of stock which can be put into use with the help of existing technical know-how, but the use has not been started. Okay, what have they given? Reserves are the subset of stock. Reserves are the subset of stock. Matlab, reserves stock hi hai, but not an exact stock, a part of that stock. Okay, which can be put into use with the help of existing technical know-how, but the use has not been started. This can be used for meeting future requirements. River water can be used for generating hydraulic power, but present it is being utilized only to limited extent. Thus, the water in the dams, forests, etc. is reserved which can be used in the future. Simple si baat hai okay, For example, just pay attention to this very well. Okay. If this is river, now imagine this is a river. Okay. Imagine this is a... If this is a river, okay. A proportion, a portion of that river is utilized or is used regularly. Is used regularly. Okay. But a portion, a similar portion of this river is not used at all. That is being the water from that river is being deployed or is being categorized for the purpose of dams, for the purpose of dams, number one. Okay. Number second, it is also used as a part of forest, forest water reserves. Okay. So what exactly is the meaning of reserve? Reserve ka matlab hai, whatever amount, whatever amount of stock that you have, Usme say some part is being utilized and some proportion is being kept as a security or is kept as to meet the future requirement. This is called as reserves. Okay. Next one. Development of resources. Resources are vital for human survival as well as for maintaining the quality of life. It was believed that resources are free gifts of nature. As a result, human beings use them indiscriminately and this has led to the following major problems. Depletion of resources for satisfying a greed of few individuals, accumulation of resources in few hands, 
okay indiscriminate exploitation of resources has led to global ecological crisis global warming ozone layer depletion please understand resource depletion resource depletion is one part which we need to consider in very detail please understand this thing resource depletion or development of resources okay uh, jo bhi resources hai what are the resources that we have we have resources like land we have forest we have water we have wind these are the resources that we have right but apart from these resources some resources are being categorized or some resources are such which are on the verge of extinction because of their heavy use because of their extreme utilization and on this purpose or for this purpose resources become an extremely good asset which can be used or which need to be used for the most important purposes only yes okay next one an equitable distribution of resources has become essential for sustain quality of life equitable distribution of resources has become important for sustain quality of life if the resources present of deplete by a few individuals and countries continues the future of our planet is in danger higher the use of resources matlab army ne kya kaha human beings have tried to exploit resources for their own personal benefit unfortunately apart from the personal benefit human beings are also trying to use resources for their greedy means which are always growing growing and growing and because of this there is always a danger of these resources getting depleted okay therefore resource planning is essential for sustainable existence of all forms of life sustainable existence is a component of sustainable development okay and what is sustainable economic development or sustainable development development economic development means development should take place without damaging the environment and development in the present should not compromise with the needs of future generation matlab aisi development which jo hum present mein kar rahe hain without damaging the existing resources that we have to that extent which can cause extreme harm or stop the development of the future generations and can have unwanted or extreme dangerous effects of this for the future generations to come by this is called as sustainable development okay now uh, isse hota kya hai bachcho har saal har saal the countries of the world okay which are called as the uh, which is called as a summit okay ek saath aate hain they meet up once in every year for some or the other purpose and every year the target or the objective is different theek hai usko kaha jata hai that is called as a global summit such meetings of the world leaders okay please i'm writing it over here note it very well meetings of the meetings of the global leaders which are which are conducted meetings of the global leaders which are conducted once in every year with a common agenda or goal for social and economic sustainable sustainable development usko kaha jata hai that is called as that is called as the global summit theek hai global summit to for example last year is it 2019 mein summit hua tha and this summit took place in switzerland okay स्विट्जरलैंड में जब यह समिट हुआ तो स्विट्जरलैंड में समिट के वक्त कहा गया था दैट द बेसिक एजेंडा फॉर अज टू रिड्यूस ग्लोबल वार्मिंग प्लांटिंग ऑफ मोर ट्रीज गिविंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज द ग्लोबल लीडर्स एंड द ग्लोबल पावर्स दैट इज ग्लोबल नेशन रियलाइज दैट विदाउट एनवायरमेंट वी कैन नॉट सक्सीड और वी कैन नॉट प्रोसीड आई है because of which global summits virtual form an important part which can create awareness and help people use resources in a better way even though the basic criteria or the main importance remains is of economic development okay yes to usme sabse pehla summit hua tha which was the first summit which was being undertaken okay rio de janeiro earth summit 1992 In June 1992, more than hundreds of the states met in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil for the first International Earth Summit. 
The summit was convened for addressing urgent problems of environmental protection and socio-economic development. Yes, summit's ka dusra objective ye bhi hai ki that even if people, even if mankind wants to develop and innovate new things, but innovation at the cost of environmental degradation is absolutely wrong. Please make sure innovation at the cost of environmental degradation is completely wrong. The assembled leaders signed the Declaration on Global Climate Change and Biological Diversity. Okay, the Rio Convention endorsed the global forest principles and adopted Agenda 21 for achieving sustainable development for the 21st century. Okay, everybody, yes. What is Agenda 21? It is a declaration signed by the world leaders at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, which took place at Rio de Janeiro. So, please mark it very well. It might be a one-liner question as well. Sabse pehla Global Earth Summit ka hua tha? It took place in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil in 1992, which focused on protection of mother earth number one number second addressing urgent problems of environmental degradation along with social economic socio and economic development ye point address kiya gaya tha isme inhone kya kiya isme inhone agenda 21 laya kaun sa agenda and for what agenda 21 21 ka matlab hai for the 21st century to protect environment and no economic development can take place or should be taken place without with degrading the environment and environmental issue, environmental aspects ye dusra point tisra agenda 20 21 make agenda 21 kaha pe sign hoa tha this was signed at Rio de Janeiro okay and it was signed by the declaration was signed by the world leaders world leaders at the United Nations conference on environmental development and everybody everybody decided and pledged that no economic development can take place with degrading environment if we want to achieve an objective of sustainable economic development did you get this thing very well yes let's go further Okay, in kind major agenda, the major agenda for agenda 21 is that every local government should draw on, should draw its own local agenda. Every local government should draw its own local agenda. Clear everybody? Resource planning. Resource planning is the widely accepted strategy for judicious use of resources. Planning is a widely accepted strategy for judicious use of resources. It has import, it has importance. It has importance in a country like India, which has enormous diversity in the availability of resources. There are regions which are rich in certain types of resources, but are deficient in some other resources as well. Okay. Resource planning ka matlab hai, planning for the optimum utilization of resources. I am writing the definition over here. Please pay attention. What is the exact meaning? Okay. of resource planning is ka matlab hai planning for the optimum usage of resources is called as resource planning ठीक है मतलब अगर जो resources available है, जो भी resources available है, okay? अगर उन resources के लिए हम लोग एक planning करते हैं, या उन resources के लिए हम लोग एक proper way of action decide करते हैं, तो ही वो resources optimum, optimum का मतलब है appropriate use होगा, clear everybody, okay? Yes, so along with this is called, what is given further, okay? Resource planning in India, this is very important concept, please pay attention. Resource planning is a complex process which involves identification and inventory of resources, identification and inventory of resources across the regions of the country. This involves surveying, mapping and qualitative and quantitative estimation and measurement of resources. Evolving a planning structure endowed with appropriate technology skill and institutional setup for implementing resource development plans. Matching the resource development plans with overall in overall national development plans as well is an important part. India has concert, concerted efforts for achieving the goals of resource planning right from the first five-year plan launched after independence. Independence availability of resources is a necessary condition for the development of any region. And there are many regions in our country which are rich in resources, but these are included economically backward regions. So, say baat hai, jaha pe resources hai, let's say for example, country like, uh, sorry, state in India, like let's say for example, Rajasthan. Rajasthan, agar log usko sirf kai, it's a desert, nothing is available over there, it's a completely arid region. So, it's a hone wala nahi because Rajasthan, agar, even if that is there, but still Rajasthan today is the world's leading exporter for granite and marbles. 
clear similarly similarly if people take the case of uttar pradesh heavily populated state nothing is available but this is wrong uttar pradesh has highly good quality of soil alluvial soil fertile soil bahut zyada hai so obviously that can be used for a good agricultural production and which has been utilized as well so kehne ka sirf yahi matlab hai agar jo resource hai jahan pe wo facilities available hai if we don't use of you make use of it with proper planning then that is going to be absolute failure ye aisa hi hua tha colonization period mein colonization period mein during the colony establishment period same thing had happened colonies tried to establish or be, uh, the outsiders tried to establish their colonies which led to colonization in those parts of india specifically which had heavy and which had absolutely great resources but end of the day of course they had to leave india that's okay but our planning with good efforts is important for sustainable development for resource planning in india okay everybody yes next one conservation of resources important act do we have to conserve resources yes hamare liye bhi hamari present generation ke liye bhi and future generation ke liye bhi okay so this is what is an important factor next one uh, at the international level the club of rome advocated resource conservation for the first time in a more systematic way subsequently in 17 1974 gandhian philosophy was again small again presented by schumacher in his book small is beautiful the uh, seminal contribution with respect to resources conservation at the global level was made this report introduced the concept of sustainable development okay which report brand brand land uh, brand land commission report 1987 which made way for sustainable economic development and which entitled in which was entitled in a book our common future guys please pay attention my dear students excuse me question aata hai development kaun si sustainable development okay which uh, commission report brand land commission report kaun se year mein 1987 mein aur kaun se book mein publish hua tha our common future clear everybody fine next one resources of land pehla resource which we will be understanding is land resource is land an important factor yes zameen important hai now please pay attention agar aap log thoda economics mein samjhoge to always remember land is categorized in two ways one is an agricultural land pehli kaun si land hai beta first is your agricultural land and second land is an na land which means a non agricultural land this na land can be used typically for commercial purposes c o l m e r c i a l This can be used for commercial purposes. इसीलिए हमेशा जो land हम apart from agricultural use के लिए करना चाहते हैं उस land को पहले signing और registration करते वक्त you have to make it an any you have to make it a any land. Clear everybody? Yes. India has land under a variety of relief features, namely mountains, plateaus, plains, and islands. About forty three percent of the land area is plain, which provides facilities for agriculture and industry. Mountains account for 30% of the total surface area. Please, I am highlighting specifically. जो एम सी क्यूज हैं आई एम हाईलाइटिंग दोज एम सी क्यूज विद डिफरेंट कलर प्लीज पे अटेंशन ओके फोर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ लैंड एरिया इज प्लेन फैसिलिटीज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर माउंटेन्स अकाउंट फॉर थर्टी परसेंट अबाउट ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ द कंट्री इज अ प्लेटो रीजन इट पोजिस रिच रिजर्व ऑफ मिनरल्स फॉसल्स एंड फॉरेस्ट प्लीज दिस इज एन एम सी क्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन Make sure you are well aware about it. Forty-three percent, what is it? It's a plains. Thirty percent is the mountainous region, and twenty-seven percent is the plateau region. Okay. Next one, land utilization. Look, in India, the problem is this. Let's say, for example, okay. Uh, say, for example, uh, yeah. We'll take a basic example. If this is land in India, okay. If this is land in India. What is this? This is a land in India. ठीक है तो ये land, for example, this land is total area of this land is for example, okay, the total area of this land is हंड्रेड acres. कितनी acres land है हंड्रेड acres. लेकिन इस हंड्रेड acres में से for example, for example, let's say थर्टी एकर land is used for agriculture. इसके लिए यूटिलाइज बेटा दिस इज यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम थर्टी परसेंट लैंड लेट से नेक्स्ट थर्टी परसेंट लैंड इज यूज फॉर कमर्शियल पर्पजेस ठीक है मतलब बिल्डिंग्स कमर्शियल अपार्टमेंट्स इंडस्ट्रीज हो फैक्ट्रीज हो इसके लिए यूज किया जा रहा है ठीक है कमर्शियल पर्पज 
remaining 30 remaining 40 percent may say 20 percent is used 20 percent is used as a part of as a part of uh, future projects okay is really used that. and remaining 20 percent is something which is called as a vacant land so government ko aaj ki tarikh mein hamare government ko problem kya hai the land which is available for usage and cultivation इनकी जो क्वांटिटी है इनका जो प्रोपोर्शन है वो धीरे-धीरे धीरे-धीरे कम होता जा रहा है सिंपल रीजन इज आवर ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन डिमांड्स मोर एंड मोर लैंड लेकिन लैंड का उतना उतना सप्लाई नहीं है बिकॉज़ अपने इंडिया का जितना एरिया है दिस इज द सेम एरिया दैट कैन प्रोवाइड फॉर यूसेज बट उसमें से भी अगर यूटिलाइज नहीं हो सकता है देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लैंड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ वेकेंट लैंड जमीन है लेकिन पड़ी हुई यूटिलाइज नहीं है so making appropriate utilization of land for a simple purpose of benefit and betterment of mankind is called as land utilization in an appropriate manner okay let's go further land resources are used for the following purposes forest land not available for cultivation barren and waste land land put to non agricultural uses okay other uncultivated land excluding fallow land permanent pastures and grazing land land under miscellaneous tree crops Cult, uh, cultivable wasteland left uncultivated for more than five years. Please pay attention. What is called as cultivable wasteland, land which is left vacant or which is left uncultivated for a proportion of five years. More than five years is called as cultivable land. Fallow lands, current fallow land, one or less than one agricultural year, other than current fallow uh, left uncultivated for the past one to five years. Okay. for past 1 to 5 years net sown net sown area area sown more than once in an agricultural year plus net sown area is known as cross crop area so area sown for more than once in an agricultural year plus net sown area is known as cross crop area matlab total area may say let's say for example again for example this is a this is what is called as this is a land okay this is an area agricultural land hai hai. If for example this is agri land, okay, or is land media ke area sown more than once in a year, ek par se upar, more than once, more than once, okay. If the same land, if the same land is used for agricultural purposes, okay, plus the net sown area, lekin is me se, for example, let's say only this part is being utilized, this pure land may say, अगर इतनी ही लैंड यूटिलाइज होती है एंड रिमेनिंग लैंड व्हिच इज एब्सोल्युटली वेकेंट मतलब क्या ये पूरी लैंड प्लस द नेट सोन एरिया मतलब इतनी लैंड इज कॉल्ड एज क्रॉस क्रॉप एरिया क्रॉपिंग के लिए यूटिलाइज यूटिलाइजेशन कितना हो रहा है टोटल लैंड यस और नो यस अनदर एग्जांपल इमेजिन दिस लैंड इज अ टोटल ऑफ दिस लैंड इज अ टोटल ऑफ ओके स्टूडेंट्स दिस लैंड इज अ टोटल एरिया ये जो लैंड है ना इस लैंड की टोटल एरिया है 10 एकर्स कितनी है Ten acres. I am explaining you the concept of net sown area. So please pay attention. Area the land area is ten acres, right? But in this ten acres, me say eight acres, jo utni land hai, eight acres jo ye land hai. This land of eight acres is used purely for the cultivation purpose, जिसको हम लोग sown area कहते हैं, ठीक है? This is called as sown area, which is called as net sown area. This land becomes a gross land. Usme se net sown kitni hai? Only 8 acres. Right? So what exactly is the net sown area? Definition kya net sown area kya? Area more than, area sown more than once in an agricultural year. Is area mein ek saal agricultural year. Matlab one year mein se ke upar. One year mein ek bar se upar is same land mein jo cultivation hota hai. To ye land, ye land plus this land is called as net so is called as gross sown area clear everybody yes and and bas uh, but lekin us gross sown area mein se this much land is land which is called as net sown area which is purely used for cultivation is how much 8 acres but total land is how much 10 acres did you understand this everybody yes next one land use pattern in india guys please make sure kidhar bhi doubt hai you get it clear for me 
kindly send in your com- uh, comments wherever possible we are always there land use pattern in india the use of land is determined both by physical factors such as topography climate soil types as well as human factors population density ecological capability and culture total geographic area of land is 3.28 million square kilometer okay please pay attention total geographic area of land is 3.28 million square kilometer land use data however is available only for 93% of the total area because the land use reporting for most of the northeast states except assam has not been done fully moreover some areas of jammu and kashmir occupied by pakistan and china have also not been served jaise si baat hai india mein that's a political problem again okay now you can have this uh, general use of categories of land very well please refer textbook part hai you can observe the figure and understand okay my question simple is over here this question in the examination okay this question comes in the examination as a part of as a part of diagram based question okay as a part of diagram based as a part of diagram based question okay everybody yes so please make sure you are quite well aware about it the land use permanent pasture has also decreased how are we able to feed our huge cattle population on this pasture land and what are the consequences of it most of most of the other than current fallow lands are either of poor quality or the cost of cultivation of such land is very high hence these lands are cultivated once or twice in about 2 to 3 years and if these are included in the net zone area then percentage of net zone area in comes to about 54% of the total reporting area it is over 80% of the land kaha kya hai areas in which areas of india which are more used better for cultivation are called as uh, acha hona chahiye because of course our population is growing and agriculture still remains our basic and the most important occupation isiliye indian economy even today is called as basically we are an agrarian economy clear everybody we are an agrarian economy forest area in the country is far lower forest area in the country is far lower than 33% reserved that was the geographical area as it was outlined in the national forest policy of 1952 it was considered essential for maintenance of the ecological balance for the livelihood of millions of people who live on the fringes of these forests depend upon depend upon it okay yes continuous use of land uh, over long period of time without taking appropriate measures to so conserve and manage has resulted in land degradation ye bhi hota hai okay this is something called as the land loses its own fertility kya hota hai ek hi land agar bar bar hum log agricultural purpose ke liye use karte hain to the land itself loses its original fertility in it and that is where the land value gets or becomes degraded okay land degradation and conservation measures of course as a part of our project which is called as save earth project we should also see to it that the land does not degrade in its quality okay degradation yahan pe land ki size nahi kam hoti hai degradation is in terms of quality and conservation measures we have shared our land with the past generations and we have to do so with the future generations as well hamari zameen hamare liye bhi hai lekin aage aane wale generations ke liye bhi hai we are fortunate our previous generations thought about us that's why we have something to enjoy so let's be honest and clear for our future generations as well 95% of the of our basic needs for food clothing and shelter 95% of our basic needs for food clothing and shelter are obtained from land human activities have not only brought about degradation of land but have also aggravated the pace of natural forces to cause damage to land simple si baat hai what happens we do some we are into activities hum log kuch aisa kaam karte hain hum log kuch aisi cheeze karte rehte hain because of which not just land diminishes in its quality but other natural factors of production also have indirect impact on land सिंपल जाहिर सी बात है वी आर ह्यूमन्स वी वॉन्ट डेवलपमेंट हम बिल्डिंग्स कंस्ट्रक्ट कर रहे हैं सीमेंट बिल्डिंग्स सीमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग द एटमोस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर्स उसकी बदौलत क्या होता है गर्मी बढ़ती है ग्लोबल वार्मिंग बढ़ता है इनडायरेक्टली द वैल्यू ऑफ द लैंड स्टार्ट डिमिनिशिंग सिंपल डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट्स एट प्रेजेंट देर आर अबाउट वन थर्टी मिलियन हेक्टर्स ऑफ डिग्रेडेड लैंड इन इंडिया एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन अगेन ओके कितनी एकर्स ऑफ लैंड डिग्रेडेड है वन थर्टी हेक्टर्स ऑफ डिग्रेडेड लैंड इन इंडिया अप्रॉक्सिमेट ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ इट बिलोंग्स टू फॉरेस्ट डिग्रेड एरिया फिफ्टी एट सिक्स परसेंट बिलोंग्स टू वाटर इरोडेड एरिया ओके एंड द रेस्ट इज सलाइन एंड अल्कलाइन ओके 
Mining sites are abandoned after excavation work is complete, leaving deep scars and traces of overburden. In states like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Orissa, deforestation due to mining have caused severe land degradation. Consist states Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Orissa, is ki badalat kya hua hai? Land degradation. In states like Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra, overgrazing is one of the reasons for land degradation. Okay. So please categorize out, okay. Uh, excess agriculture, over irrigation is responsible for land degradation due to water logging leading to increase in salinity and alkalinity of the soil, okay. Salinity and alkalinity al of the soil. Please pay attention very well how we are categorizing it out. We should know it well enough. Teen hai, Madhya Pradesh, part of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, that is Jharkhand, Ranchi and Bihar. In the quality of land come hui hai because of mining. Why? Because of mining. Thik hai. Similarly, Maharashtra, part of Madhya Pradesh, okay, Gujarat, Maharashtra, part of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat uh, and Rajasthan. Yeah, Gujarat and Gujarat and Rajasthan. Yes, this land quality has degraded. For what reasons? Because of because of over because of over grazing. After that, after that, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh. In key quality of land has degraded because of over irrigation. What happens? Over irrigation ki wajah se the water logging takes place and once water logging happens, the soil increases in its salinity and alkaline. Clear everybody? Okay. The mineral processing like grinding of limestone for cement industry and calcite and soapstone for ceramic industry, okay, generate huge quantity of dust in the atmosphere. It retards the process of infiltration of water into the soil about itself after it settles down on the land. Okay, planning of uh, planting of shelter bells of plants, control and overgrazing, establishment of sand dunes by growing thorny bushes, some of the methods of check land degradation. Soil as a resource. Please pay attention. Soil as a resource may diya kya hai. Number one, the top layer of the soil, okay. The top layer of the soil is called as the upper soil layer. Subsoil weathered rocks, sand and silt clay. Subsoil weathered rocks, sand and silt clay layer. Hai. Uske baad, substratum weathered parent rock material. And the last one is unweathered parent rock material. The, the, Material, the land quality or the land part which has not been touched at all. This ko kaha gaya hai unweathered. Matlab, it has not caused any harm to it. That is called as unweathered. This bed rock or bed pattern is absolutely untouched by any human developments. Okay. Uh, next one, classifications of soil. Okay. Next one is the classifications of soil. Number one. India has varied features, of course, very simple. Agar hum log India ka map dekhte. Let's get back to the India map. Okay. The India map, if you observe very clearly, then you will understand that. Okay. This part of India, this part of India. Okay. This part of India is called as the Indo- Gangetic Plains. This part of India is supplied water by Himalayan rivers, specifically Ganga, Yamuna, simple, which are one of the which are the largest river system, which big forms a part of one of the largest river systems in India. So this is where it is mentioned about. Number second, now coming back. This part of India, this part of India is called as what? This is India's simple words if I have to explain. This is called as the Central Highlands. Okay, this is called as the Central Highlands. So to be very specific, this is called as the Deccan Plateau. This is also called as the Deccan Plateau. Clear everybody? Then next one. Next one. This part of India is called. This part of India is called as the. This is called as the southern tip of India. 
This is completely being divided into what is called as this has more of a coastal climate simple. So obviously the salinity of the soil will be higher over here. Okay. Whereas the central Deccan plateau will have more of black soil because the soil nature is black the color is black soil because it has got good amount of rainfall as well as climatic condition also. This part is called this part that is Indo-Magnetic plain has more of red alluvial soil useful for production of crops like wheat and sugarcane. That's why Punjab is called as the wheat granary of India of the world today. This is where Punjab is clear everyone. Now coming back to the next this part of India is called as the seven sisters or yaha pe aati hai hamari one big river called as Brahmaputra. Another river which comes over here is Brahmaputra. Or this river is something which brings in extreme water for the northeastern part of India called as the Seven Sisters. This includes states like Assam, Manipur, Tripura, New Mizoram, Agartala, Aiswal. Clear in fact. So these are the states which are included in northeastern part. Specifically, here the mountainous tracks are hai. So water logging nahi hota hai. Water keeps on flowing from the mountainous tracks resulting into slopy mountainous regions which require or which helps in production of crops, crops like tea, coffee and rubber. Clear everybody? Yes. So this is where I explained you about how India and its varied and varied, varied plains or varied parts of India have soil content. If you look at the last this is called, this is where, this is our Rajasthan. Rajasthan has get has a typical Indian semi-arid or um, rusty climate. Of course, good for the production of crops like limestone, okay, or granite. Is that fine, everybody? Yes, that's it. So coming back to the next ones now. Classification of soil. I just gave you a brief understanding, okay. Alluvial soil, the most widely used soil, okay. Alluvial soil found in where? Uh, deposits of the three Himalayan river systems, Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra uh, extend up to Gujarat and Rajasthan as well. Okay. Uh, and Delta Kahatak form of the Mahanadi river, the Godavari, the Krishna and the Kaveri. Simple. Okay. <clears throat> Near the place of the break of slope, the soil are coarse. Such soils are more common in predominant plains such as Duars, Khos, and Terai. Predominant plains, matlab, plains which are huge and expansive are called as predominant plains. Okay? okay. Apart from the size of their grains or components, soil are also described on the basis of their age. Are also described on the basis of their age. Old soil is called as Bangar. New is called as Khadar. Bangar soil has higher concentration of, of canker nodules than the khadar, of canker nodules than the khadar. It has more fine particles and is more fertile than the bangar. It has more fine particles and is more fertile than the bangar. Okay. Alluvial soils as a whole are very fertile. Mostly these soils contain adequate proportion of potash, phosphoric acid and lime which are ideal for the growth of sugar cane, wheat and other cells and pulses. Quickly revise karte, okay? What have we done and how you will be making for this as well. Alluvial soil. Kahase form hai, which rivers make or help in the formation of alluvial soil. Number one, Indus, Ganga and the Brahmaputra. Complete North Indian rivers. I have said as I have discussed over here. The North Indian rivers. Okay. And Brahmaputra. Simple. Yes. Of course. Found in where? Uh, Pan Uttarakhand, Uttaranchal, Hiva, Hiva, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, and straight into the straight into the Bay of Bengal. Soil is alluvial soil. Old alluvial soil kya kaha jata hai? Old alluvial soil is called as Bangar. New one is called as new one is called as Khadar. What they lead into the formations of predominant lands called as Dwars, Khos, and Terai. Clear everyone? Yes. Kis ke liye, uh, which crops are grown more? Wheat, sugarcane and other cash rich crops also. Clear everyone? Yes, that's it. Next one is the black soil. Subse pehle ho gai hai alluvial. Next one is the black soil. Soils are black in color and also known as regal soils. Soils are black in color and also known as regal soils. Black soil is ideal for growing cotton uh, and also known as black cotton soil. Believe that climatic condition along with the parent rock material are the important factors for the formation of black soil. This type of soil is typical of on of the Deccan trap basalt region spread over northwestern Deccan plateau and is made up of lava flows. They cover the they cover the plateaus of Maharashtra, Saurashtra, okay, Maharashtra, Saurashtra, 
मालवा मध्य प्रदेश एंड छत्तीसगढ़ एक्सटेंड टू साउथ ईस्ट डायरेक्शन गोदावरी एंड कृष्णा बेसिन ब्लैक सॉइल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ फ्लाइंग एक्सट्रीमली फाइन ले क्ले कॉल्ड एस क्ले मटीरियल दे आर वेल नोन फॉर देर कैपेसिटी टू होल्ड मॉइस्चर ओके इन एडिशन दे आर रिच इन सॉइल न्यूट्रिय लाइक कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट मैग्नेशियम पोटैश एंड लाइन ओके ऑफकोर्स वेरी गुड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ द ग्रोइंग ऑफ क्रॉप्स लाइक राइस शुगर केन एज वेल जोआर एंड बाजरा कमिंग बैक ब्लैक सॉइल में क्या है वेर इज दिस ब्लैक सॉइल फार्म गुजरात महाराष्ट्र मध्य प्रदेश कर्नाटका आंध्र प्रदेश एंड पार्ट ऑफ तेलंगाना सिंपल देखो मैं आपको मैप के हिसाब से बोल रहा हूँ इन द मैप आई एम टेलिंग यू वेर एक्जैक्टली विद सॉइल इज बिंग फॉर्म सो यू वॉन्ट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम अगर यहाँ पे ये सॉइल फॉर्म है और फॉर्म होती है तो विच आर द रिवर्स विच फ्लो फ्रॉम यूर गोदावरी कृष्णा एंड कावेरी सिंपल सॉइल ब्लैक सॉइल इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज विच टाइप ऑफ अ सॉइल इज कॉल्ड एज अ रिगुल सॉइल वेरी सिंपल सॉइल कैसी है अबिट मॉइस्चर रिटेंशन सॉइल है सिंपल नेक्स्ट वन रेड एंड येलो सॉइल ओके रेड सॉइल डेवलप्स ऑन क्रिस्टल एंड इग्नियस रॉक्स इन एरियाज ऑफ लो रेनफॉल इन द ईस्टर्न एंड सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ डेक्कन प्लेटो येलो एंड रेड सॉइल्स आर ऑल्सो फाउंड इन पार्ट ऑफ ओरिसा छत्तीसगढ़ सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ द मिडिल गंगा प्लेन एंड अलॉन्ग द प्रिडोमिन जोन ऑफ द वेस्टर्न घाट्स एज वेल क्लियर एवरी वन येस लैटराइट सॉइल हैज बिन डिराइव फ्रॉम द लैटिन वर्ड कॉल्ड एज लेटर विच मीन्स ब्रिक okay the laterite soil develops in areas with high temperature and heavy rainfall okay this is the result of intense leaching due to heavy rain humus content humus content of the soil is low because most of the microorganisms particularly the decomposers like bacteria get destroyed due to due to high temperature laterite soils are suitable for cultivation with adequate doses of manures and fertilizers adequate doses of manures and fertilizers these soils are mainly found in karnataka kerala tamil nadu and madhya pradesh which soil laterite soil please okay pay attention karnataka kerala tamil nadu uh, tamil nadu andhra pradesh and a part of madhya pradesh as well the lower part yahan pe kaun se soil found hai laterite soil temperature kya hai laterite soil ke liye high temperature heavy rainfall is can are these states having high temperature yes in the coastal areas is heavy rainfall available completely and that's why this is where the laterite soil is being found okay <clears throat> Uh, at the same time, lead red, lead red laterite soil is in Tamil Nadu, Andhra, and Kerala, rich for the growing of the crops like cashew nuts. Okay, arid soil. Arid soils range from red to brown in color. They are generally sandy in mixture, sandy in mixture and saline in nature. In some areas, the salt content is very high, and common salt is obtained by evaporating the water. Due to the dry climate, high temperature evaporation is faster, and the soil lacks humus and moisture. the lower horizons of the soil are occupied by kankar because of the increasing calcium content are occupied by kankar because of increasing calcium content downwards the kankar layer formation in the bottoms in the bottom horizons restrict the infiltration of water and this is more precisely being found in rajasthan bachcho i am sure you will have a query ki sir do we have to go for this theory in detail I am very sorry to say, but you have to go for this theory. But it is a way to learn it. I will explain you how. Okay, please just let me just be patient. I will be explaining you how this can be done. Yeah, make a comparative analysis. What you have to do is that you have to make a comparative analysis. How will you make a comparative analysis? Okay, of soils. Let's say the first one. alluvial soils after that black soil after that laterite soil after that arid soil theek okay. hai alluvial soil found in which regions how is it how is it extremely fertile okay a bit red in color black soil black in color with high moisture laterite soil it has got granules okay arid soil found in completely dry regions it is absolutely a bit of saline in nature fine next one kaun se states mein alluvial soil is being found himachal pradesh uttaranchal uttar pradesh punjab haryana simple black soil gujarat maharashtra madhya pradesh karnataka and telangana simple laterite soil laterite soil matlab kaun se soil soil which is found in the coastal regions which require high climate and high rainfall simple karnataka kerala tamil nadu <clears throat> andhra 
एरिड राजस्थान वेरी सिंपल तो हर एक सॉइल में क्रॉप्स कौन से कौन से ग्रोथ है सॉइल के कंटेंट कौन से सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग मेक अ कंपेरेटिव चार्ट एंड दिस कैन हेल्प यू इन गार्नरिंग योर टॉपिक क्लियरली ओके लेट्स गो फर्दर Forest soil. Forest soils are found in the hilly and mountainous areas where sufficient rain forests are available. Hilly and mountainous areas where sufficient rain forests, where sufficient rain forests are available. These soil textures, according to mountain environment, where they are formed, they are loamy and silty in valley sides and coarse grain in the and coarse grain in the upper part of the uh, region. In snow covered areas of Himalaya, these soils experience denudation and are acidic with low humus content. Okay. soil erosion and conversion what is the meaning of soil erosion with extreme amount of deforestation extreme amount of deforestation when trees are being cut down what happens is pehle to simple in simple understanding plants kya karte hain plants hold up the soil jo roots hote hain plants ke wo kya karte hain wo soil ko hold karke rakhte hain they keep the soil in well intact position iski badolat kya hota hai iski badolat soil remains and retains its own fertility but if the trees are cut down the roots obviously roots flamish the soil entirely they cover up they remove the soil entirely making soil more disintegrated resulting into deforestation resulting into soil erosion did you understand this everyone yes so soil erosion is basic cause deforestation deforestation can take place or takes place because of constant cutting down of the trees and chopping of forest so soil erosion is being linked directly with soil erosion is being linked directly with deforestation okay the running water uh, the running water cuts to the clay soils and makes deep channels known as gullies isko kya kaha jata hai beta gullies land becomes unfit for cultivation and is known as bad land land becomes unfit for cultivation and is known as bad land in the chambal basin such lands are called ravines in the chambal basin such lands are called as ravines okay everybody please get it sometimes water flows as a sheet over large areas down a slope in such cases the top soil is washed away this is known as sheet erosion जहाँ पे टॉप सॉइल वॉश आउट होता है कॉल्ड शीट इरोजन वेर एवर द वाटर फ्लोइंग थ्रू द फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम द सॉइल्स मेक्स वेज एंड कट्स टू दट कॉल्ड गलीज ओके विंड ब्लोस लूज सॉइल ऑफ फ्लैट और स्लोपिंग लैंड नोन एज विंड इरोजन सॉइल इरोजन इज ऑल्सो कॉज ड्यू टू डिफेक्टिव मेथड्स ऑफ फार्मिंग सॉइल इरोजन ऑल्सो कॉज ड्यू टू डिफेक्टिव मेथड्स ऑफ फार्मिंग प्लोविंग इन इन अ रॉन्ग वे दैट इज अप एंड डाउन द स्लो फॉर्म चैनल्स फॉर क्विक फ्लो ऑफ water leading to soil erosion clear yes plowing along the contour lines can decelerate the flow of water down the slope is called as contour plowing simple okay state of india's environment okay very simple uh, it's what is the problem that has happened to sum up the topic i will be giving you a brief understanding okay sorry do minute i think okay okay students uh, uh, so if i have to sum up this topic which is a very lengthy topic uh, round about uh, 15 to 18 pages uh, quite detailed but i'm sure we all have been able to understand this topic in uh, its absolute uh, synchronized format pehle topic se humne dekha right from the first part of the topic we have seen something called as the weightage and everything that's okay but we have seen the sources and development every development is possible because of resource if there is no resource there is no development to mark it over here these resources can also be categorized as this resource can also be categorized as okay as factors of production categorized as factors of प्रोडक्शन ओके इसमें आते हैं लैंड लेबर कैपिटल दैट्स मनी ओके मशीनरी एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज मैनेजमेंट दैट इज हाउ यू मैनेज ऑल द रिसोर्सेस every resource is of every resource is something which is important or helpful in some or the other production or manufacturing process clear everybody every resource is being classified also on the basis of on the basis of origin biotic and abiotic on the basis of exhaustibility renewable and non renewable on the basis of ownership 
as well as on the basis of status of development. These are also categorized on the basis of uh, biotic resources, abiotic resources. On the basis of exhaustibility, मतलब जो खत्म होने वाला है, renewable which can be renewed again and again, non-renewable which cannot be renewed again and again. Clear everybody, but which has taken millions of years into the formation. National resources, that is the resource of the nation, is called as a national resource. International, which extends beyond the boundaries, are called as international resources. Okay, resources on the basis of ownership, individual, community-owned resources. Okay, these are uh, also uh, then is national and international on the basis of status of development, potential, developed resource, stock and reserve. This may potential but use nahi kiya ja hai. Developed resource, resources which are developed in a full-fledged manner. Stock, stock which is called as materials in the environment which have the potential to satisfy human needs but human beings do not have the appropriate technology to access them is called as a stock and reserves are a part of stock, not the entire stock. Clear everybody? So it is called always a reserves are a subset set of the stock then development of resources is extremely important agar resources hai to hame wo develop karne aana chahiye but develop karte samay we should see for sustainable development that is why the world organizations and the world countries met in 1992 first in rio de janeiro for a world earth summit okay uh, international earth summit which discuss mainly about which discuss mainly about the points of degradations in environment which can not be useful for sustainable economic development जहाँ पे उन्होंने agenda sign किया था called as agenda 21 okay everybody yes and what is sustainable development sustainable development means development should take place without damaging the environment okay then resource planning planning for the optimum utilization of resources मैंने definition भी लिख के दिया सबको planning for the optimum utilization of resources is called as resource planning Clear everybody? Yes. After that, after this is five-year planning and everything. Next one is uh, land resources. Land resources में जितनी land is used for cultivable land, fallow land कितनी है, forest land कितनी है, mountainous land कितना है, uncultivable कितना. These are the proportions of land being divided, which you can definitely refer it in this. Part. So this is an absolute pie diagram for that. Next one is types of land. हमने categories के types of land में कौन से कौन से types of land है इंडिया में. Number one is uh, alluvial soil, black soil, laterite soil and and saline soil. Salinity of the soil dependency के ऊपर रहता है. Clear everyone. Next ones. Which are the soils found? यहाँ पे मैंने आपको दिया है comparative analysis. Okay, I have given you a simple comparative analysis for it. Okay, which soils form what? Okay, and everything. So red and alluvial soils कहाँ पे हैं? अरे arid soils कहाँ पे हैं? So you simply need to go for a comparative analysis part of this. Then we have said it over here. What is called as soil erosion and soil conservation? Degradations of soil leading to deforest uh, because of deforestation results in soil erosion, wherein the soil loses its absolute everything, the quality of the soil, the potency and its purity as well, and soil conservation. Conserving soil for the purpose of future generations is highly important. So obviously, I have made, I have highlighted some things. What are gullies? Okay. What is bad land? What is sheet erosion? And what is contour plowing? Please pay attention to this. Read it well enough, you'll understand it clearly. I have explained in that detail also. State of India's development. Uh, okay. Hopefully, we are trying to develop better as we are a growing country. We have to put importance to each and every parameters of growth and development okay thank you so much dear students okay please read the video or listen to the video properly watch it clearly if any doubts state in your comments over there pause it understand it get back to us we are always open for your comments and your welcoming doubts thank you so much dear students